Hi, I'm Danny Flexen and this is Seconds Out Special. Looking forward to the big fight, in more ways than one, between Dillian White and Lucas Brown on March 24th at the O2. I'm here with Big Don. <laughs> big Don Charles. I'm man Danny, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Good uh, trainer, of course, of Derek Chisora, Frank Bullioni, among others. And Chris Mason, who I'm sure you all know. Big Chris. Harking back to Lockstock. <laughs> not, not, <there>. not so <laughs> big Chris. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not so big Chris these days. <laughs> So, we're looking ahead to the big fight. Throw to you first, Don. Obviously, you've had uh, Lucas Brown down in your gym, um, sparring with Derek Chisora, doing a bit of training. You've got to see him up close. What do you make of him going into the big fight, both in terms of physically and his mindset? Yeah, I mean, listen, um, he's been um, at our gym. Ricky Hatton brought him down. As you know, Ricky, uh, Ricky looks after him. And, uh, yeah, he looks in, in tremendous shape. And uh, it seems very together. He's quite a laid back guy, you know, <laughs> quite a laid back character, you know, from Australia. The, you know, and um, yeah, very pleasant man to be around. He's got a good aura about him. It's quite a lot of similarities, at least from the outside, for White and Brown. You know, both tough guys, certain technical limitations, but both achieved at a certain level. This is one of those crossroads fights, isn't it, Chris, where the loser is going to drop back down to domestic level, I guess, in White's case, or, or kind of European level, maybe. And the winner could go on to, to a world title shot. Yeah, I mean, I'm more interested to know, obviously, Don, you you trained Derek for that fight against Dillian. Was Derek not able? I mean, I had him. Uh, the, I, I didn't have Derek losing that fight. I mean, you could make a debate that maybe you know, he didn't win it, but he certainly didn't lose that fight. I mean, I watched it several times. You, you obviously implemented a game plan for that fight. Was there at times where Derek couldn't quite uh, implement it or, or carry it out because of the, the slight size difference? Do you think that gives Lucas... Would Lucas be able to uh, carry out that game plan a little bit better because he's a bit bigger? No, I don't believe that would be um, the case against Dylan White. Dylan White is an exceptionally good boxer. Yeah. Yeah, he can box. What happened with our fight with uh, Dylan White? We drew him into a fight. Yeah. Yeah? We drew him into a fight. That's why we had successes in, in, in part, yeah. many, many parts of the fight. The only time we didn't have success is when he went back to his boxing, Dylan. Yeah. He started to move yeah. and box. Um, now, I'm, I'm sure they've got a good game plan. Mark Tibbs is a top trainer. Um, I'm sure they will devise the right game plan against uh, Lucas Brown. Being a big guy... Um, I should imagine they wouldn't want to stand toe to toe. No, I think with Lucas, yeah. he's he's a little bit more straight, and he throws a lot more straight punches. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Dillian loves. I mean, when he had his spots with, with Derek, is when he backed him up a lot of wide punches. Absolutely, yeah. And I think I, for me, I think Lucas, if he keeps it a little bit longer and a little bit straighter, you know, I think that's where he may have some success. I mean, for me, I mean, I think Dillian White just marginal favourite in this fight. Um, I'm not. I'm not quite so sure. I give Lucas more than a more than a shout in this fight. I don't know. What's your opinion on that? Uh, my opinion, as you know, I'm not at liberty to because I've witnessed yeah. him close hand, so it wouldn't be right for me to, uh, yeah, for Lucas's sake, uh, to 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 reveal my findings. <laughs> so I'm going to stay as neutral as I can, yeah. you know, humanly possible. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a tremendous fight. The styles, Mary. Yeah. It's going to be a good fight because the styles marry. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could look on Lucas Brown stylistically that resembles of, uh, let's say, Chisora because he's you know yeah, stocky, strong. Well, he's a big man. Yeah. He's a very yeah. strong man. I give you that. Um, size of his neck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, he's very robust. He's very strong. And um, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm gonna. For a change, I normally don't sit on the fence. Mm, I'm going to sit on yeah. the fence. In inactivity and age have got to be a concern, though. Of course, most most definitely. Um, like I said, it would be a good fight. Yeah. I mean, talking about odds, I had a look just before we came on at time of recording for Lucas Brown to score a knockout win over Dillian White. It's mm -hmm. five to one. That seems like quite wide odds, seeing as Lucas Brown is a puncher. He's a puncher. And we have seen a, Dillian White stopped. He's a renowned puncher. He can punch. He, he the hands. The very strong man. So listen, and he can get up on the, off the ground and win. And Shaggy a fight. Yeah, absolutely. you know, a late, yeah. he, he produced a late stoppage against yeah. a guy that was heavily fancied to do a job on Lucas mm. Brown. And uh, certainly out in Chechnya. Out in Chechnya, yeah. we all know what happened with regards to the the drug test, the, 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 the drug test and whatever else, which was yeah. not not surprising out there in in recent times. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I was impressed. That's been his for me. That's been his standout fight. 
you know, I can really judge him only on that fight because that was his stiffest test. It was a mm. test of character, wasn't it? Yeah, as well. Passed with flying colours. Yeah, and ability. Shagiev was, it was no mug. You know, he was a decent okay. operator, operated at a decent level, uh, had good fundamentals. Uh, you know, and, and Brown was one of these guys that, you know, a late, late starter, like most boxers are. I mean, mm. uh, Anthony Joshua was a late starter in terms of what, 18, I, well, I think, think he... Dillian relatively as well, not yeah. as late as Joshua, but still late. When no, Dillian was from that, the kickboxing, kickboxing. boxing background, wasn't he? which he had yeah. great success in that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's one of those stylistically. I totally agreed on. I think they're just going to yeah, meet merit. each other head on, yeah. and it's gonna it's gonna be a tear up for, you know, I suppose it, I'm I've got two ways of looking at it. I think Dillian, if if they don't have a good game plan, I think Dillian could box his ears off for twelve rounds. I don't think I don't think he's quite got the pop to stop him. Um, yeah, if he's a little bit reckless, I think Lucas Brown could have the power to put it on him. One thing I'd like to ask Don, I'm sure Chris is curious about this as well. You mentioned that the success you had with Chisora against White was when you were able to draw him away from his boxing strategy mm -hmm. and into a brawl. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you've relayed in your time with Lucas? This no, week? absolutely not. No, I wouldn't do that. As much as... Uh, well, you might watch this. Well, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure. If he does watch it, I'm just... like Happy I said, accident. I, yeah. Um, no, I wouldn't... I wouldn't that information. It wouldn't be fair. Yeah. So do, you, do you think then that uh, Brown could have similar success by doing that, as as Chisora did, would it well, work? Well, if for I him? were training him, I would. Uh, I would I'm sure they would have watched the fight with Chis Chisora. Yeah. They, they would have watched many fights of Dylan White and see what works against him. You know, any any smart coach would say, okay, to be successful against this guy, yeah. If I were yeah. them, I'll draw. I'll draw Dylan into a fight. If you haven't got the power to knock him out, I yeah. think they set a good blueprint yeah. of how to yeah. uh, how to beat draw, you. Draw him in, draw him and you have all of his advantage. We we spoke about it earlier. You know, if you, that's the whole idea. That's come up with a game plan. You move them around. You, you you know you manipulate them into how you want them to fight because you take away their advantages. I mean, I'd say the hardest fight for both men, in fact, in their past has been when they've been forced to fight at an uncomfortable pace. Mm -hmm. So if it does come down to fitness and conditioning. You guys tell me who's the fitter man. Who's I think the White, White, White for me. Yeah. White and the younger man. Yeah, he's fresher. The younger man, you know, he's fresher. And he's had some tough fights. I mean, Derek was is an incredibly tough fight. AJ was an incredibly tough fight. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't. He flattered to deceive against Elenius. You know what I mean? I wasn't impressed with that performance, but. You know, again, Elenius didn't want to fight. That version that Derek fought and beat, which he, another decision he didn't get. Yeah. Now, that was a great version of, of Elenius. Uh, and Derek won that fight clearly for me. Um, that wasn't the version that uh, Dillian fought uh, a few months ago. You know, so I'm not so sure. I think maybe we could uh, almost overrate Dillian because of that performance against AJ. And, you know, but that's something we'll, we, we need years to look back on in time. But... You know, I, I, I'm looking forward to this fight, probably more so than, than Parker and Joshua. Prediction time now, Don, I know you can't give a prediction. <laughs> I knew it was going to get no, no, That's absolutely fine He's if you don't want to do that. Away. But, but if you can just tell us what kind of fight you expect on the night, that, that would be something. In I think it's going to be a, a good fight because of the styles. Um, whoever brings their A game on the night and um, prediction time, I... Prior to uh, me witnessing Lucas coming to our gym, I, I picked Dylan to win the fight by boxing. He's, he's a very good boxer, and if I could talk directly to Dylan White and our, because we need him to, we actually yeah, you need a, him to win. You want a rematch? Way, <laughs> and we need you to win, dude. Yeah, because we got unfinished <laughs> business with you. Absolutely, um, we want so, round thirteen. <laughs> good luck, box, 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 box. Well, Dillian, I don't really mind who wins. <laughs> Let's go over to Chris for his prediction. Um, I, I think it. I'm, I'm very much with Don. I think it's who turns up and which version of the fighter that turns up. I think, I think Dillian is 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 a little bit pissed uh, with Lucas, and I think if they continue to taunt him and wind him up and draw him draw him into a brawl, uh, that's the only way Lucas Brown can win. I think, I think he's stronger. I think he punches harder. I don't think he's as mobile. I don't think he's as skilled as Dillian White. Not that I particularly rate Dillian right up there with skillful boxers, but his basic fundamentals are a little bit better. I think it's either White on points or Lucas Brown by stoppage. So which is it? We can't let you get away with one or the other. Really? There's no uh, fence here, only a chair. All right, I'm going to go Brown stoppage. Whoa, okay. Well, that puts me under pressure. I like you're looking a fool or an expert. No <laughs> no change there. Well, I've got to break the tire now as yeah. well. Maybe I should go for a draw. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually think I think Wyatt being younger, fresher, a bit fitter, probably maybe has a bit more motivation at this stage of his career. Yeah. I think he can outbox and outwork him for a decision. I, I don't see him stopping Brown, no. who's a tough, big man. Okay, well, you know what we think. We'd love to know what you think. Um, if you can let us, yeah, give us your comments <laughs> down there. 
um, on the comments bar. Let us know what you think and who's going to win and how. And we'll see you on Fight Night. This has been Seconds Out Special. Thank you.